afternoon. This is uh, Kosafa TV, and my name is Siabule Larulane. It is match day minus one, and we are sitting with the players of Zambia, who will be taking on South Africa tomorrow in the finale of the Kosafa Women's Championship. Uh, first and foremost, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How, how have you been? You've been okay. We've been great. Yeah, we're enjoying. You're enjoying yourself. Yeah. Um, with me, I'm sitting obviously with the, the famous Barbara Banda <laughs> and the famous Irene Lungu. And uh, firstly, I was shocked. Irene, you're older than Barbara. <laughs> yeah, okay. of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is older than me. But uh, make me understand this because. <laughs> You know, when I checked, I checked your history, I checked everything that you have done in your different levels of football. Initially, I thought you older because of all the experience. Um, how has the journey been? Mm, like, okay, for us, the journey has been, it started a long way. Like, the two of us, we've been playing together for so long for so long and even outside football we usually found together so i think we have a good relationship the two of us yeah there's something i read you are a soccer player but what's the other sport that you do <laughs> <laughs> well okay not really i used to like it it is my talent as well i do box so not like boxing. Yeah, exactly boxing. Yeah, but yeah, no. <laughs> I, 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 I saw I saw somewhere that you you do boxing, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I've done it for quite some time, but you know, I uh, just reached the time where I had to choose. I had to choose one sport because um, actually I was balancing, but the time just itself just told me to stick to one thing. So actually, I just do it for fitness at the moment. And, um, and Irene, you, you, we were with you in Devon. You, you left a very happy, happy woman when you left South Africa the last time. You are back in South Africa to chase the elusive Kosafa Women's Championship title. Uh, how much does Zambia want this title? Tomorrow you're playing uh, Banyana Banyana and um, I've seen it somewhere saying that it's going to be a revenge. We are coming for the <laughs> revenge. But what, what, what are your goals? What, how much do you want this? Well, like, I think uh, what I can say is um, uh, the only thing that brought us here is the same trophy for the, for the Kosafa. That's the thing we came for as in here. So like, um, the time we came here, we promised our, our fans, our country to say, we're going to, to lift the, the, tro the trophy. I think so. This is the, the only time for, for us uh, as the Copa Queens to, to grab the same trophy, like for the first time. And, and I must say, you've been very focused. Three games, three wins, you didn't concede. You played the semi-final yesterday and you thought it's not enough to score for yourselves, you must score for the other team as well. Yeah. <laughs> how, how is that? How has been the feeling in camp? How has it been with the players? I think uh, the feeling is, uh, has been awesome. I think um, everyone, because everyone is pushing, everyone wants to, to feel how it feels uh, like to go home with the trophy. So I think everyone is, is happy and everyone is, is pushing. Yeah, I can say something about that. It's what we are known for as uh, Copa Queens. We are very stubborn, so we make sure the rounds we manage to win all the games. But uh, the most important thing is the determination that we have as a team and uh, the communication that we have. Um, all in all, the love that we have for each other, so that makes us moving. And you know when I when I look at, at, at you, you in the field of play, you are this strong um, 
Barbara who is ready to bulldoze everyone. And when you are sitting here, you are this young little <laughs> girl who's very sweet and everything. How how do you balance between the Barbara who is always trending on social media and the now being Barbara Banda and being in your own space and, and everything? How do you keep that balance considering that you had to, um, you came up at a young age and you have been making waves. You have been scoring goals. And if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be your fifth Kosafa Women Championship. Yeah. And um, you're chasing to lift the trophy. In 2019, you got a silver and uh, you yet to lift the trophy. Yeah, I think starting with uh, myself, like you have asked, um, this is shows how how I love what I do because for whatever I do on the pitch to me I mean business for my country so I have to fight whatever it takes for me to put a smile on my on my country there back so I'm always determined when it comes to football I I'm st- out, out of uh, football, out of pitch, I'm just like this. So always people wonder how I balance, but it's just me and uh, there's nothing can change that. When I'm on the pitch, I mean business. When I'm out there, I have my own things, I have my own stuff going on. So I always know how to calculate my time off the pitch and uh, on the pitch. So that's me. And um, who gives you the most support? In terms of our team or just everyone? Just generally. Okay, I think um, family comes first. As for me, my family always encouraged me to do what I love most. So I get the all support from my family and uh, to my friends, my the fans. It's the same. So it keeps on encouraging me and keep on pushing myself. All in all, always my friend, we talk about football. <laughs> Every time when we are together, it's about football. So that's really give us the zeal to keep on moving and to keep on pushing, moving at the same uh, page. You know what I find interesting? You are friends, and uh, in the last tournament, she was the top goal scorer. Currently, yeah. in this tournament, you are the top goal scorer. Yeah. And uh, we have a record that needs to be broken you are sitting on nine goals and this tournament of kosafa women's championship has got a record of 12 goals from 2006 do you think you can break that record of 12 goals tomorrow you just need three goals (laughs) (laughs) yeah i think um as you all watch she is a machine she is a goal she is a ball passer so I think um, we are going in tomorrow's game, um, not to relax, but uh, we are looking for something. And um, definitely, when we have that opportunity and that chance, definitely we have to use it wisely from her and me, myself, because she knows we've been playing together, she knows my movement, I know how she she can pass the ball to me. so. I just have to be at it, and uh, I think she will provide for that. Yeah, yeah. I um, I think uh, what I can say is uh, uh when God says uh, she'll 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 beat the is it Noko? The, Noko Machi, yeah, yes. yeah. Of course, if also God. Africa. Yeah, I think if God allows uh, her to to beat a South African uh, goal scorer, then it will it will show tomorrow because uh, the only thing that we are. What we're supposed to do is to to take the same game that you're playing in South Africa tomorrow seriously. And um, before we wrap it up, tell me your favorite food. What's your favorite food? You guys travel a lot. What's your favorite food? <laughs> like, what do you eat? What do soccer players eat? You know, they normally say uh, you can't eat this diet and everything. When the coach is not looking, what's your favorite food? Yeah, well, Shima. What is Chima? What is that? <laughs> what do you call it? Expe- just, just, just describe it for me. Okay, they, they, they pound maize, you know maize, right? 
It's like pap. Yes, of course. Pap. Yes. You eat pap. Yeah. With what? Chicken, a vegetables. Uh huh. Yeah. So you love meat? Not really. But the chima is yeah. is the it. Yeah, of course. That's, that's our staple food in Zambia. So that's sure. your favorite. Yeah, yeah. So, it's our favorite. Yeah. So there's nothing like uh, the coach is not around. Then we have to take, we have to eat something behind. No, oh, because we are killing ourselves. Yeah, we are sports women, so we have to be disciplined. Either the coach is not there, is there. We just have to be disciplined. Yeah. Okay. So and even in you eat chima, even yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we we, eat, we do eat shima, we eat rice, spaghetti, macaron, we tea, do eat that. But tea. when it's game day, we don't but eat But you know, there are beef. those food no. like junky foods you don't have to take because sure. at the end of the day, it's about you again. Yeah. And and then, your favorite music? Gospel. Okay, so who's your favorite gospel artist? Um, Moses Bliss. I don't. I must Google that. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course uh, you should. Can, oh, can you sing? Can you sing a, a line but, from from? Moses, uh, <laughs> no, from I think. Moses? But I think uh, what I will say is that I have to support my local music. Yeah, of course. Yes, so, I, I so, want to know Zambian music. So that's why I'm asking you. So can you sing me a line? Because I know you are a very good singer. No. <laughs> so can you sing me a line from Moses? Uh, even if it's just a line, like. So that I can just get a feel of what keeps you going in terms of your favorite. No, music. I think I will just give you a, a song from our country. Okay. Yeah. Please. If you lamb and the pony at the filam bapia cuchula, yo. If you lamb and the pony, if you lamb bapia sansa. Gana evocation call a sample mission in one hour. Nalole shamu saidi mira ya life ya ndina mone pia kunuma. O Yesu ya we, we wama koni wevo, we wama pasenta ni wevo. Nde kuimbila uluimbo, baba o, baba o, eh. That is beautiful. Yeah. Just summarize what what was that song saying? Uh, it's about uh, life issues when you like you look into the things that you've been through. Just like uh, you brought a, a mirror and look at the things that you've been passing through hmm. and the things that you're facing in future. And then, seeing that you are friends, who who eats the most between the two of you? <laughs> Who's the biggest eat? That's you... why I'm growing big. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's the best dancer between the two of you? This one, yeah. You no. can dance? No, no. <laughs> okay, she's a good singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you do the dancing. Yeah. I do the dancing and the drumming. And the drumming. Yes. Yeah. So what's the what's the latest dance moves from Zambia? Apparently, it's uh, Telimale Banese. Yeah. Like, stand <laughs> up, show me how it looks like. Yeah, of course, this one does. So, so, so give, she'll give you a demo. <laughs> yeah. No, but stand up, show me. Show me how it looks like. No, she knows the dance. She even celebrated the same dance, this one. I didn't see it. I, that's why I'm just two seconds. Yeah. Just, just show me the dance. <laughs> okay, so it's it's just a dance that's uh, trending uh -huh. at the moment in Zambia. Uh -huh. Just by uh, it's a, it's a dance by Triple M, uh -huh. and everyone is vibing about it. So okay. yeah, so the dance it's uh, him he calls itself like he puts a buffalo stance, uh -huh. like he puts the legs like this. Uh -huh. Then. Uh, the most important thing is the the mouth. Yeah. How you do it to your mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so he must be So does, okay, I'll also stand just yeah. to yeah. join so, yes. of course. He does this. He puts this. the legs like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And then the mouth? The mouth has to be like this. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, of course. You <laughs> put the mouth like... Like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you cross your, your hands like this. Mm-hmm. Then the legs. Then you start doing like this. <laughs> On the legs. Uh, the legs yeah. has to be moving like this. And then we just do that all the time. Yeah. yeah. And then I know Zambian dance. Of course. It was, yeah. <laughs> Okay. So it's just a dance that is trending at the moment in Zambia. So I think we are enjoying it and uh, we love supporting our locals. So we're always vibing and meet. Okay. Final thoughts. I was told Banyana Banyana was given medals and they were, they were asked to choose which medal they would want to get on the podium to get tomorrow. What, what medal? Are you guys scanning for tomorrow? God, Definitely. it's God medal. You are here to take it. It's yeah. a God medal. You are confident. It's a God medal. Sure. And and the importance of the fact that you are building the World Cup squad for 2023. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. we are very much ready for that. For, for 2023. Yeah, yeah, and I think at the games we've played uh, part of uh, the World Cup preparations. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, thank you very much. And... Uh, one last one, I would just like you to look at the camera, talk to Zambian supporters that are in Gabeja. This is called Say Gabeja. What? Say Gabeja. Say Gabeja. Yes. Gabeja. Say Gabeja. To the supporters that are in Gabeja, can all the Zambians come out in numbers? Tomorrow you are playing. They must come through to give support and uh, yeah, just just talk to your supporters because they will see it on social media, they will watch you in, in, on TV as well. So talk to them and talk to your fellow Zambian people as your parting shots. We are the Copper Queens. Uh, we ask young, the, the Zambian soccer fan to come out in numbers in support. Uh, the Copper Queens, as we are taking on South Africa tomorrow in the Baker. Thank you so very much for your day. You come and witness. I think for TV is Ankara enough. So once we are Mulikuno, come there in numbers and support us. We love you. Thank you very much. That has been our edition and preview with the Copper Queens for tomorrow. Please remember to watch us on social media, Kosafa Media, and also come out in numbers. We have a 12 o'clock third and fourth playoffs with uh, Namibia versus Tanzania. And after that, we'll be having the final where Zambia will be taking on South Africa at 3 o'clock. Isaac Wolfson Stadium in Kabeha. Thank you very much. My name is Siabuela Loilane, Kosa Familia.